It's oh, home. Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Geoffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. Here we are. I'd better get this to... Jeffrey, was it? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't. Will this be enough? It sounds like Otto has everything. Don't think I haven't noticed you stealing sip. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of... The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have... Clive. Delighted to... Now, I... Has it been? Well, well. Uh, Just a moment. What all right, but of course. Food. I was hoping it might be. You're new, aren't you? Well. <laughs> when he's not out chasing rumors, sits up there in that hole of his, brooding it. Here. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's the last one. Eh? I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. You! Newcomer, I need help. All right, I'll go.
Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Should be enough. I'd better get it back to the hideaway. There you are. And? All safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! I trust you're gradually getting used to the I'm glad I'd be happy to help Marvelous The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway You'll find one by the entrance another in the bunks and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again Clive We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Is he sick? I I would be lo Come, you must eat if you're to recover. Back so soon? Can I send me? Wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running. This <laughs> new. Something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you... Ah, there's... And who has time to... Anyway. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know.
Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Here we are. Martha's rest. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Find him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Bearers are hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. You barely have to step out your... That's one of our branded. He can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bearer without a brand. 
to have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. I'll be fucked if I'm leaving this to a bear. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? eating crystal. This should be interesting. Get him! Get him, boy! This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. Over here! Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. All right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Aye, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. It went. safe.
Are you Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I'd never have thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? A letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sabra. Courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. More of the lost supplies. He could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village, then. Thank you. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. He's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Wanted to send a message. 
Maybe I should just own up. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. Never this late. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton. The tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Did the grocer know his daughter? Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know. Clive? man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble.
Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? It's my sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. But how did the grocer know his daughter? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry? We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Don't tell me. Turn him for supper. Brother, did you see? <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. I, I, I want no trouble. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. trouble.
Looks like that was the last of them. I better let. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Ha! Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lads. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So, you are an associate of the dames? Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... Fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope.
There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflamme's finest. Just as promised. Each one is handcrafted from the violent... I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. What did you say was in these pies again? I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that? They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden, all right. Vetienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. That's the day done, then. have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Sergeant's got it in for us two. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Take a moment to get ready if you need it. 
Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. So you know one end of a brain from the other. <sighs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? How a bearer win the dame's favor anyway? By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. You've got potential. I'll give you that. I'll be damned. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames and safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Heard the bones fell favourably. To the veil, then, is it? What do you think? I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Bones fell favorably. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least.
I have something for you. From the Chamberlain? Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Heard the bones fell favorably. from me. Dash, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's all my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. For business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people round here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. You! Branded! Here, now! You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go. And see that you kill the beast. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. 
You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this, before it happens again. my son. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more, and we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame? Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another with jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? More victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. 
Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home, it's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's nest too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Had another branded drop in the field yesterday. How do they expect us to finish the harvest when the one... Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I? Because a girl from Chloe, is it? Oh, little list. Last I saw, that, that girl's old enough to know. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Chloe? Ugh. More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that... someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. The Crystal's Curse. 
Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favourite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter, just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I...